And now, Rob on the Road, exploring Northern California. These four letters set the stage for a fast-growing speaker series, spelling out stories many would never dare to share. This is bold in more ways than one. Every person gathering here at Oak Park's Guild Theater has come together around these four letters and the women who will boldly define them. Each speaker breaking down the word bold into an acronym, bravery, optimism, leading, and oppression. Bold is spearheaded by a well-known business leader ready to bear her soul, Rachel Zillner, a former vice president of a leading banking institution, walked away from her high-powered job to tackle the things in life that were holding her and others back. Although I loved my career with my financial institution and I loved the people that I worked with, and I certainly loved my paycheck, that that work had come to a point where it was a distraction from being able to do or figure out what it is I should be doing. Okay, I wanna hone in on that because that sounds like a career crisis of calling. Yeah. <laughs> because your career is thriving, but your soul is growing and you need more. Yes. Rachel is a mother of two with an impressive list of awards. She was chosen as one of Sacramento's 40 Under 40, served as board chair of Metro Edge with the Metro Chamber, and was the 2018 Executive Woman of the Year from the Sacramento chapter of the National Association of Women Business Owners. But it was her management style, simply put, sharing the worst of times to bring out the best in others and themselves. For me, it was a small sample in my workspace, right? Like I would encounter people and I would say, how are you? And then I would say, how are you really? And the deep breath would come and then more information. And I would connect with people that way. I started keeping tissues in my office to let people know this is a safe space to just be a whole human. And people would come in, they'd do their thing. They take that deep breath and then they would be very productive and could feel good about the work or how they were contributing. But we get stuck in these pockets of things that are happening to us or things that are happening around us that you have to get through to go forward, hmm. right? And for many of us, we've buried these things for decades, hmm. right? Many, many. Right. And, and so bold came out of that is here's something I think we can do that will speak to women, it will speak to men, it will speak to children, whatever that looks like, but specifically with the intent to eventually put this into workplace learning. Okay, now I completely get it. <laughs> Societal standards of success and prestige, I believe, can actually contribute to poor mental health outcomes. Being a leader is not just a title, it's a calling. It's also an action. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a trained professional, I'm a human. I'm a human that struggles with depression. From CEOs to award winners, whatever it is, ladies are the last to step into that space. This first time, like you said, it was bravery, optimism, leadership, and depression. Intentionally creating a series around emotional intelligence. Emotional, emotional intelligence. You got it. So for me, that was the something that needed to be elevated in our region, in our nation, in our space, and as a people, that we need to be better around our emotional intelligence. Why? Because you have to, you have to speak to a whole person, right? Like we've moved into a space as a society where we just surface each other, right? I'm here on a phone or on a whatever, and I feel like I'm, I'm connecting. Oh, me too, me too. And, or you walk down the hallway and you say, hey, how's it going? Great, great, and you walk away. Rachel walked into her new reality by building a financial bridge to cover her while navigating uncharted personal waters. Along with her family, Rachel opened Beat the Room, 
an experiential escape room business now with two locations and 26 employees, stepping back from the banking desk and onto the stage of life to help build this region rising. When you open your heart, you open others. Right. And your message oddly becomes universal. Yeah. You know, it, we all, every person has a story. Every single, every single one of us has a story to share. And everyone can relate to some element of your, your life or your space. And I think it was important, like, if you let them. If you let them. Rachel says the magic to make this region rise is to get real. Take talks at home and work to a deeper level. Find a space where you create a safe space for you and people you love to be vulnerable, right? Like, it, it can't be a bad thing. Murphy Austin Adams Schoenfeld LLP, focusing on business law and commercial litigation, is proud to support Rob on the Road, Region Rising. More information available at murphyaustin.com.